Tonight, a new invention that might be in stores early next year could save your precious smartphone, digital camera, or other electronic device from damaging water. It's the idea of an Indiana man and might end up saving you hundreds of dollars, aggravation, and lost time. Our story now from RTV6 reporter Chris Prophet. If you own a smartphone, and most of us do, this isn't good. It hits the water, and you end up buying a new one. Or can you bring that one back to life? Let's see. This happens an estimated 80,000 times a day. It happened to Teresa Trusty, who washing machined her phone containing valuable videos of her children. I cried several hours until Joel met me at the phone store. I took her to the phone store and bought her a new phone. But unfortunately, that didn't fix the problem. Joel Trusty could buy his wife a new phone, but he couldn't retrieve the video, pictures, and data stored on her old phone. I realized that I just promised my wife that I would work on drying out this phone. So I had to come up with uh, with a starting point. That was 18 months ago, and Joel, along with a partner, have come up with this, a prototype of what they hope you'll find in drugstores, supermarkets, and big box stores next year. Their company called Revive Electronics promises to bring a waterlogged phone back from electronic death. What we've created is the ability to boil that water away at near room temperature without damaging the electronic device. Trusty says his revive machine turns water to gas with an over 95% success rate so long as you don't plug the phone in before reviving it. An average 25 minute long process that dried this phone completely. We successfully have done key fobs, hearing aids. Um, it's not limited to cell phones. Just cell phones happen to be the device that started the whole thing. And we feel that's the biggest market to go after. Before now, water to a cell phone was like kryptonite to Superman. But if Revive gets off the ground, it could potentially save consumers hundreds of dollars in damaged smartphones. Chris Profit, RTV6. Wow, it helps so many people. And Trusty says that he also plans to build each Revive machine here in Indiana. No word yet on how much it will cost to revive a smartphone, but he says it will be affordable.